hello i hope you are well welcome back to the hannah tay channel i just fancied sitting down and having a chat talking about i'm going to show you my nails that i did and also why i left the channel a bit about motherhood just having a chat so first up i am wearing hello kitty nails and you need to tell me if these are nice or not i made them myself so they have i got these hello kitty charms i'm on such a hello kitty kick recently so these hello kitty plastic charms and bows and the nail underneath is pink with red hearts and i stuck a diamante on them i stuck a hello kitty charm there's that hand and then the other hand is like this is i think they're nice i kind of love them they're also not stuck on they're um sticky backs so i got these sticky backs that you can just put on your nail then you put the nail on so you can just peel it off but i thought these were really cute for like a night out i wanted them a little bit shorter but tell me what you think tell me if these are nice or not i might put up like a short video of me making these but I think they're cute. I think they're cute for like a nice at night out fun thing. I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty recently. I used to love Hello Kitty when I was a teenager, but it was so expensive. And I feel like in England, it's really expensive to get hold of Hello Kitty stuff. But now it seems to be just kind of everywhere. And so it's a lot more affordable. So that's why I'm stocking up. I'm breaking it in so that I can like cord it so that when it's not popular anymore and it goes back to being expensive, I'll have some Hello Kitty goodies. So, hi, I'm back on the channel. It feels weird to be back. It feels like being at a party you weren't invited to. Like I'm like, hi, I'm here. I know I left, but I'm back. So last year, I didn't upload a single video. I privated my Instagram. I privated this channel. I privated every single video on the channel. That was it. I was gone. And last year, I was pregnant. And then I had my gorgeous son at the end of last year. And now I'm back and uploading loads on YouTube. But the reason I went was really because I was pregnant. I just, I don't know what happens, it's hormones, obviously, but there's this thing called nesting that pregnant women get, and it's when you clear out all your stuff. It's just a hormonal thing, and you clear everything out of your house, and there are vlogs on YouTube where they're like buying cute baby clothes and throwing out their old clothes that they don't want anymore. And for me, it was just a kind of clearing of everything. I got rid of, well I didn't get rid of it, it's in my basement, <laughs> it's in my basement in huge plastic tubs, all my floral crowns, all my books, I got rid of quite a few unread books, just got rid of them, all my books that I adore I put in these big plastic tubs that are in my basement, all my jewellery, all my like you know gold clothes I had, you know I used to wear that top all the time, it's gold and had like swirls and then the other one that was black and got all just went in these tubs in the basement and I think it's really normal to happen is that when you're having a baby you kind of think I'm gonna become a new person and for some women maybe they do and they buy a whole new wardrobe and everything's completely different but for me I just thought I can't have all this stuff it's so childish it's I don't know what happened it was just I just needed to get it out of my life so I luckily didn't get rid of it I put it in these tubs in the basement. I was like, I can't do YouTube anymore. I'm, I'm going to be a mother. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what happened. It was like I was going to paint my whole house beige and be like, that's it. Everything that I liked before. I'm shedding my skin like a snake. I'm becoming someone new. And I just needed to get rid of it. It was just like a real need. So that's why I privated my YouTube. There was no other reason. It was just... I was pregnant, I had this kind of like hormonal thing going on. I was actually going to delete my channel and I'm so glad I didn't delete all my videos, all the videos I've made over the years. But I was just pregnant and hormonal and just needed to kind of start afresh. So I decided no more YouTube. There were so many things last year, like I went and saw Jessie J and um, if you've been with the channel a while, you know I adore the English singer Jessie J and I went to see her a live acoustic gig and she was pregnant on stage whilst I was pregnant in the audience. It was such a moment and she sang this song called Sunflower, which is about being pregnant. Oh my God, it was amazing. And I didn't film a single thing because I just thought like I'm this new person. I can't film anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing YouTube, I just can't. And I don't know what happened, but then after I had my son, obviously you're in the newborn phase, he's just over there playing with this um, octopus toy he loves. 
but you're in this newborn phase and you're really in this survival mode you know your baby's waking up every 40 minutes and then you're really sleep deprived you just i was like panicking because i've never had a baby before your postpartum hormones are ridiculous they're an absolute joke just going mental like being teary-eyed for no reason which again is like perfectly normal but you, i was going through all this and then i feel like i've had space to kind of think and stop and look back on everything and look back on my youtube channel and i just want to do whatever i want to do now that's what that's why I'm here, that's why I'm back. I hope this is making sense. I feel like I'm being incoherent as always, but I just have got a completely different, clearer mindset that I never had before I was pregnant. I definitely didn't have when I was pregnant. And it's just more of like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do kind of mindset. Like my son will always be number one. He will become first in everything. And then, I can think about things that I want to do and I love doing YouTube. I don't care how many people watch my videos, I love doing YouTube. I just, I want to make videos. I love filming videos, I love editing them, I love uploading them, I love getting back to the comments. I just want to do that. I don't care if anyone thinks my videos are silly or wants to make video responses or do whatever, it doesn't matter to me anymore. And I feel I've got this real different mindset which I've never had at any point in my life ever this kind of i'm gonna do what i want to do if i want to upload a youtube video every day that's what i'm gonna do like now it's dark outside and so i would have thought before i was pregnant i would have thought i can't it's dark the it's not going to be light enough in the video i can't the lighting's going to be bad i can't do da, 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 da. whereas now i'm like no i want to sit down i want to have a chat i want to ask you are these nails tacky or not are they nice or are they horrible? Like, I want to sit down and chat. So that's why I'm back. I'm here. Um, the channel is not going to be everything to do with my son. There really is not going to be a lot to do with my son on the channel. And that is also, I don't want anyone to take that as me being rude upon family vloggers. Because I know people have a real thing about it. And it, I'm not making, like, any comment on that so on youtube i know a huge genre is basically doing what the kardashians do which is putting their children on film and then putting it on their youtube channels and these youtube channels have like millions of subscribers and do really well and everything i have become a mother but me being a mother is not going to be a big part of this channel so i'll obviously show you like cute outfits i get my son and i'll be talking about like i'm going to a baby group and stuff like that but i'm not going to be talking about his milestones or giving out his name or really much about him in that way i'm going to talk about what picture books he loves and stuff like that but i'm never going to show him on Instagram or on YouTube and that's just me personally and also I don't mind what anyone does with their children which is quite a, a different thing because I think when I was pregnant I was quite maybe judgmental of other things and I was like well when I have a mother I'll do this I'll do that and then when you become a mother you have a completely different mindset and you're actually in it and it's real to you now so I have I don't care like about what anyone does with their children. If they want to put them on YouTube, if they're not, if you want to breastfeed for one day, one year, I don't care. Whatever you want, if you want to wean your child at four months or six months or a year, whatever you want to do with your child, sleep train, not sleep train, there's so many opinions when you become a mother of everyone trying to tell you what you should or shouldn't do with your child. I haven't had it in my personal life, just online when I type in a what what age do you wean a baby and then there's like a million different opinions and then you go on social media and oh the the like if a woman says i did it at four months people are like it's a child abuse it's dreadful and you know there's all these different if you feed your child formula you're the devil all these different comments and it can be really overwhelming when you just want clear advice on something when you're looking online for just an answer for your question and so but me personally, I don't I don't want to add to that. It doesn't interest me to add to that either. So there will be no how to be a parent videos, uh, nothing. Like this is really not going to turn into a family vlogging channel. But people that want to do that, like it's been done from the beginning of time. It's not a brand new thing. The Kardashians have done it forever. And I'm sure before that there were other reality people who did it. And the, there are child stars and all that different stuff. So it's really not anything on that you know i feel whatever you say there's like a 
a balance isn't there so you say one thing so people think you're saying something else so like I'm not showing my son so I must think it's bad like no I think everyone should live their lives however they want to live them and I feel like since having my son my mindset has become so like that and I've never had that where I've thought I'm gonna do whatever I want I'm gonna live my life how I want to live it I don't want to cause any harm to anyone in anything that I'm doing I'm gonna just live my life how I want <laughs> and do the things that I want to do. So that's what to expect on the channel. Kind of the same as before. I haven't been doing a lot of reading um, just because I've been like looking after my son and if I've been reading, I've been reading children's picture books. So I'm going to talk about some of them and I've got some like good underrated ones that people don't really talk about that I want to talk about as well. Also before I had like a baby, I had loads of picture books myself. As you know, I was a huge Quentin Blake fan, which I still am now. And so I already spoke about those kind of books as well. Obviously, if I do get back into reading, which I hope to, I'm thinking maybe Mary Higgins Clark. She's quite an easy read to kind of slip into. So I might actually pick up one of her books. I have to go down to the basement because I packed up all my books because I thought I was going to become this like new person. And there's also you've got this kind of idea of like, you're going to be a mother, you need to be a different person. And in a way you are a different person because obviously now you've got a child to look after. But you can still have all your past interests and things of who you are. And I think also that whole thing of like nesting and getting rid of things and then refinding yourself. That's just all hormones and completely natural and normal. And probably the majority of women would say the exact same thing that I've just said there. Like it's not a unique experience. Most women would probably say yeah like you go through this real kind of changing as a person and then you kind of find yourself again and you find out what you like and it's very similar to what you used to like before. You don't shed your skin and become a completely different human being entirely. So I am really excited to like be posting on this channel and I, I'm not, oh my god, I'm being arrested. I'm just going to be posting what I want to post. I'm not going to be worrying about, you know, it, are people going to be, like, is this the trending thing that I've got to be on? I feel like on BookTube there's so many things that are trending that you kind of, you want to share because you want to be, be talking about the same thing with people, which I really do love that as well. That's something I really miss from my book club. Do you remember I did that book club, Tay book club? I might have to start that again. Maybe our first book back should be Mary Higgins Clark. Tell me if you'd be interested or if you're like, we're over the book club we don't not interested in it anymore but that's what I loved about the book club is it was that real kind of sense of community which I feel you do get with booktube which sorry I just have a, a he my hair is shedding like crazy so when your baby's four months your hair starts falling out it's a hormonal thing and my hair is just shedding I don't know when this is supposed to stop but just like full strands not just like a little bit broken bit off the bottom like full strands of hair just start shedding off and it's the changing hormones causes it so sorry if I'm like picking hair off my skin <laughs> but I'm shed I'm shedding I've become Lola right now I'm shedding like a cat but I love with booktube when everyone's reading the same book and then you read the same book and you kind of get into that. I remember it with The Fault in Our Stars, that was like a big thing, all reading it together and then watching each other's videos and commenting. I loved that and I feel like I created that over on my channel in a really small way with, well it wasn't small because actually we had loads of us like reading along with it on the Tay Book Club. We were all like in it together and posting pictures and stuff and so I really want to get that back. So maybe the first book back should be a Mary Higgins Clark. And then I've got some books to kind of catch up from the Tay Book Club as well, which I want to go back and read, like the Jungle Book and stuff like that. So I'm excited to be back. I'm going to Centre Park soon, so I'm going to vlog my trip. Um, I might vlog what I'm packing. Centre Park is like, it's in the forest. It's a cabin in the forest, and there's loads of different activities. If you're American, it's kind of like an American summer camp. Like the film Parent Track with Lindsay Lohan. It's like that. You know when they go on that camp and they can do loads of different activities? That's what Centre Parks is. We're going with a big group of us. I went for the first time last year. Loved it. So I'll be um, filming that and the bits that I get up to there. And then I'm going to do some picture book reviews, baby picture book reviews. And I'm going to try and put in each video. I'll like cluster some books together that we've read and then talk about them. And then try and put in a book that's really underrated that maybe no one's heard of before. 
that's what I'm going to try to do with those videos and then obviously if I read any books then I'll do book reviews on that random vlogs I'm loving YouTube shorts but I've already messed up with YouTube shorts I put up two videos of the same video so I put up my visit to the aquarium and then I did a full video and I put that up put the same title for both videos so there's like a, a 40 second aquarium video and then there's a nine minutes aquarium video both on my channel within like days of each other so of course if I would think like oh, I've already seen the aquarium video like I've seen a condensed version of the whole vlog why would I watch the vlog when the short was an it's boring I'm sorry I'm chattering on when the short was just like a short collection of it so with the Bristol Aquarium um video watch that if you want like ambient fish I actually was I loved the fish I thought they were great I loved the turtles but I also love coral you know the plants that just move that are just stunning so the whole video is basically a bit of a plant video i have got stingrays in there i've got loads i've got sharks but i have also got a lot of like me just close close up of like behind a beautiful fish just looking at the plant <laughs> is that weird like just <laughs> just zoomed in on this moving plant not this gorgeous fish so i'm back this is what this video is to say hi i'm back i went away i was pregnant hormones were wild privated the whole channel now i've just like hi i'm back just unannounced pushing myself back in hi i'm back on youtube and i'm loving it i i love like making the videos and i'm glad to be back do you remember when I always used to like try and kiss the camera it was so awkward i was like i'll hug you and then it was always such an awkward like this is a smaller camera, so maybe I can kind of... Oh, yep, I'm doing it. Oh, there's a hug. There, we bumped shoulder. I always do that when I hug people. It's so awkward. Like, I never know if you're supposed to hug someone like that, like body slam them, you know, full body. Or I'm, I'm always doing like a, a... There, do you know what I mean? Like a shoulder to shoulder <laughs> weird hug instead of a like full... So I'm going to end it here because I'm just like whittling on as usual. Like I'm first video back of me sitting down chatting and I'm just like back to my old ways. Whittling on until my battery thing is flashing. No battery left, no battery. So I'm going to end it here. I feel like I've come back to myself. I feel like you can also kind of see it with my new videos. Because the first video back, which was a few months ago, I'm kind of like, Hi, I'm off to a baby group. Like I'm kind of different. But now I feel because I'm getting more sleep because he's like such a fantastic sleeper <laughs> when mums do that we're like sleeping through the night two weeks two weeks old <laughs> but now that he's sleeping more i feel like my personality's coming out more and the stuff that i tried to really suppress and no this childish and blah, blah 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 i feel like i'm just embracing it even more now <laughs> so i'm gonna be even more of what i was before because now i don't care about the judgment like if someone makes a, a comment that they don't like something it doesn't affect me in the same way as it did before having a baby so that's a good thing for having a baby you kind of you change your priorities change things that you thought were important are no longer important it would not be a hannah Tate video if I didn't have to finish the video from a slightly different angle with worse lighting. My camera ran out of battery. <laughs> How many times over the years have I said that on this channel? My camera was fully charged when I sat down to film. I just whistled on. So my camera ran out of battery, but maybe it's a thing of like, I'm getting older, so I don't care if someone finds me cringy or whatever, because I'm older, I'm wiser, maybe that's it. But I expect to see loads of videos on the channel. I'm almost doing daily videos. I'm putting so many videos up. Also, the look I'm kind of going for with these nails is Gwen Stefani. If you know, you know. Early 2000s Gwen Stefani. That kind of look that she had. That kind of edgy look. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know if these are just tacky. I'm not sure. I kind of love them. I think they're like really cute. I think they're really sweet. But tell me if you're like, no. I just thought for like an evening. Just to pop up an evening at home. <laughs> imagine just an even well it's that's me tonight a saturday night i'm sitting at home with my hello kitty nails on i'm about to uh, do a little disco we do a saturday night disco where i basically just play my son music i'm trying to get him to like my music taste we've got gwen stefani we've got jesse J. we've got early 2000s you know that kind of music you know what's that song um with jennifer lopez when she's got like a stick like a walking stick 
and she's dancing around a walking stick for some reason we got britney all of that kind of stuff and then obviously some frank sinatra very odd choice he's probably thinking what on earth is going on with this so i'm we're gonna have our saturday night disco i've got my hello kitty nails on i'm gonna be drinking a diet coke from a wine glass as i always do and i'm gonna end the video here so <laughs> I hope you've liked whatever this is, this catch up, and I hope you're going to like the videos that I'm putting on the channel. Look back because I've put so many videos on the channel recently and I've been getting into shorts as well, videos. So, oh my god, like a grandma. I've been getting into shorts, you know, the videos. Shorts videos. Oh god, don't. Anyway, let's end it here. I've already missed up YouTube shorts, but we're going to get it back. It's going to be great and I'll see you again soon for another video.